you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I'm going to share with you all of the preschool curriculum that I picked out for my middle daughter Leia I'm so excited about today's video you guys this is actually my first time doing preschool at home so I did go a little bit crazy but I can't wait to share with you guys all of the resources if any of you guys are new here to my channel again I'm Brittany I have a 10 3 and a 1 year old this is my second year homeschooling so I'm a pretty newbie at all all of this <laughs> so you guys let's go ahead and get right on into all of the preschool curriculum that I chose so you guys the first thing that I have that we actually already started using has been these preschool literacy and preschool beginner math workbooks from JDA you guys I absolutely love this series I actually went ahead and I have the PDF versions of these as well so if it's a worksheet that I want my daughter to do again we can go ahead and do again one thing that I love about these preschool uh, workbooks is that it's just regular black and white high contrast I mean it's no color in it so I find that my daughter is not easily distracted by color even though I'm not too sure if she is sensitive with color or anything like that but I do find that she focuses on the work it's short it's sweet she wants to do all of the lessons over and over again um, another thing that I do love about this is that it doesn't require much as far as fine motor skills she's not writing a ton a lot of the things that she's doing in this book is coloring in circling drawing the line matching objects so it's really allowing her to just really think critically while doing this instead of worrying so much about her penmanship as far as right now in the early ages so I am really loving these workbooks and this is actually probably like the first preschool curriculum that we officially done so we are going to continue with these preschool workbooks by JDA so yeah the next thing you guys that I have and I'm so excited to share with you guys this one I actually seen one of my close friends from these little sprouts or Christy from these little sprouts she did this curriculum with her son last year and I just had to do this one with my daughter and it is playing preschool so I am so excited to do this playing preschool curriculum I definitely know my daughter is going to love this now this playing preschool it doesn't require any type of sit down worksheets like I just showed you with the JDA workbooks um, this is just all play all fun and I'm so excited to do it now some of the units that um, this playing preschool has is apples colors nursery rhymes clothing food five senses things that go together community helpers transportation on the farm weather eggs plants construction pets opposites fairy tales and folk tales and water so this plan preschool has 19 units and it's actually for 190 days of learning so I'm very excited to start this one right here with her I know this one is probably going to go throughout the whole year especially when we start to do like formal pre-k work I know we will still be able to add this along so this right here is going to be our main curriculum I haven't gotten it buying just yet I just printed it off so I have to take this to Staples to get it all put together and looking nice but I'm so excited about this one so playing preschool and I definitely think um my younger daughter Alana she's one she will be two soon I definitely think she is going to enjoy this one as well to do it with Leia the author when she wrote this book she actually did this with her four and her two and a half year old so I definitely think that uh, my two daughters will love doing this together throughout this year so I'm so excited about this one now another piece of curriculum that I purchased for Leia is What Your Preschooler Needs to Know by Core Knowledge. I originally seen this from Wendy from Plan Prep Prey. She actually did a flip through and she showed the inside of this book and I just loved it. I love that it's just stories, it's poems, it has all different things in different categories that you can just read to your kids. It has science, it has a little bit of history, it has folk tales. So I really love this um, core knowledge, what your preschooler needs to know, get ready for kindergarten book. I really think it does have everything that your child needs to know before getting ready for kindergarten. So I'm so excited to do this book with her. And along with this book, you guys, I went on core knowledge website and I went ahead and I purchased the what your preschooler needs to know activity book to actually go along with it 
I am so excited to do this activity book because again, this activity book is so similar to the JDA's uh, workbooks where she's not gonna be required to do like a lot of fine motor skills. This is really gonna be uh, listening, hearing, she's gonna be doing like a lot of critical thinking, she's gonna be doing sequencing, she's going to be doing um, what is it sorting it's a lot of things she's going to be doing that's just not necessarily just all about abc's one two three and writing it's really going to get her uh, brain going i love that it has like all of the manipulatives in the back when we're going over to different stories like um one of the stories in the back is goldilocks and the three bears and it has like all of the different categories where she's going to be putting it on this activity page so i definitely know she's going to love this now this activity book from core knowledge is for ages three to four and they also have another one that goes along with this book <laughs> here I have it upside down they have another one that goes along with this book that is for grade or for ages four to five so yes I'm very excited about this one as well now something else that I do have for Leia that we are doing is that my daughter she actually has already mastered all of her letter sounds so we have been working on some short CVC words these are little flashcards right here that I actually printed off and I got from JDA's teachers pay teachers where it has the CVC words and the picture on the back so we have been working on these um, as far as her sounding these out as well along with her like early reading early literacy uh, she is doing okay with these and I'm going to continue to work on all of these CVC work families with her as well to prepare her for like a formal phonics program again we are going to still work on our letter sounds and we're going to work on the CBC flashcards as well with Leia now something else that I have started with Leia is she has learned a few sight words from these uh, flashcards right here you guys I love these sight word flashcards because they're just black and white they're high contrast and I love that it has like a sentence in the back of it I do want my daughter to learn how to read phonetically however she does know enough sight words now that hopefully if she does gain the stamina I can give her like little sentences and she can start reading them and sounding them out and uh, yeah I'm hoping to get her to that point by the end of this year um, for her to be reading by the end of 2022 so we will see that it's just my goal but um, she's doing good so far as far as reading so as far as like um, handwriting and things like that, I picked out two things for her for handwriting. I found this book on Amazon, which is the Pretty Learning Pen Control and Tracing Dry Erase Workbook. And it just really just starts off the bases with um, tracing and um, making different shapes so she can start to learn how to get that better pen control and pen grip when it comes time for her to really start forming her letters. So I really think that this is is going to be a fun workbook for her to do i had one already that she was using that i purchased at aldi's but you guys i could no longer erase the dry erase marker from it so i just had to go ahead and get a new one so this is going to be for her uh handwriting something else that i have for handwriting that i have done a, for a while now which is this really cute worksheet from totschooling.net that i was able to write out her name on, on the edible document and she's just learning how to write her first name by the end of the year I do want her to learn how to write her first and her last name but since her first name is so short I definitely think she is going to be able to master writing her name without um, like the tracers behind it she's doing really good so far so we are going to continue to work on her tracing her name identifying the letters of her name and then also working on some pen control so you guys that's everything. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't show you guys too much and I didn't overwhelm you guys, but this is all of the preschool curriculum that we're going, we are going to be using for the year of 2022. When my daughter is ready to jump to the next phase as far as pre-K curriculum, uh, I will show you guys the selections that I'm going to choose for her as far as like phonics and formal reading instruction uh, as we get to that phase. But for right now, you guys, I really want to continue to make preschool 
be fun, hands-on, and I really want her to continue to have that uh, love for learning. So I really hope today's video inspired you guys. It gave you guys just a little glimpse inside of these curriculums, and uh, hopefully you're able to make some choices from this video today. So you guys, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one. Bye.